A quick summary pre-harvest in assessing your crop is to look at the overall maturity. Just as a quick reminder, this particular plant you'll see has two ears. One is the lower ear, the indeterminate ear. We look at the primary ear only. We will then proceed to snap the cob in half and discard the top part. This enables us to look down at the rachis, the spindle carrying the grain. We take our thumbnail, we can pierce any of the kernels and you will find the level of starch and sap behind. This, at this point the dry matter content is insufficient for harvesting as is clearly plenty of water. The final check would be to assess the level of sap within the stover. To do this we will highlight the point at which we cut the crop, take our knee and snap the stem and begin to wring out the moisture and you'll see that there is quite a high level of sap beginning to wring out there. This would indicate that the total crop dry matter is still below 30%. However, this particular example is probably around 28 or 29%. At this time of year, it's important to keep checking crops regularly. This variety is considerably earlier in maturity. Consequently, the degree of stem senescence and ear ripeness is evident. We do the same procedure, taking the cob and discarding the top part. And you can see here that the grains are beginning to shine. This means that the vitreous level of starch is already quite high. We take our thumbnail and we can barely puncture the grain. It's possible to do so, but you'll see behind there's very little moisture. Taking the lower part of the stem, which is already breaking because the overripeness is occurring, you can see that there is virtually no moisture left only a very slight amount and very few drips, only a few coming from this plant. I would estimate the total plant dry matter of this particular plant to be around 35, possibly 36%. Therefore, it's time to harvest now.